Welcome to the next video. In this video, we are going to see again the same part that is Angular logic building. Okay. So in this video, we are going to focus on server side filtering. Okay. So let me just show you the API call first. If I refresh. Okay. So this is the API call, which is giving us the, all the data we have in this particular candidate. Okay. Let's see. Because this is a gate API. So it is going to return all the data we have. Now, let's say we want to apply the pagination and some site of some sort of filtering. Let's say I want to filter something name, contact, and the email. So I have just created one more API for that. Let me just search that. Yeah. So get candidate by search. So this is the API which has some object as a parameter. Okay. So if you can see, we have three filters that is name, contact number, email, then page number, like which page number particular data I need, and page size, like in that particular page, what number of records I need. Okay. So let's just try to search it out. If I send this empty, empty, and page number as one, and page size as five. And if we say execute. So you can see we have got just five record. Now inside this five record, we can see Arihant is there. So if I search with name Arihant and execute, yeah, we can see only one record is there. Okay, so let's just remove this and let's say page two. So we will get the records of next page. Okay, so you can see some next records are there. So same thing, this is the, the pagination. So it's totally based on the API side, like what parameter they have provided you, but the basic concept is same. Okay. So let's just try to implement the same. So let me show you the code. This is a simple table. Okay. And this was the first API call, which was get. Now we just need to create the second API call filter candidates. Okay. Now I need the forms. So this will be my API call. You can use this. It's free, so you can use this HTTP dot post. My API is post because we have to send the object, right? Then we need to create the object. So this is the object which we are going to send along with this request. So for that, let's create the object. Let's name it as filter OBJ. Okay. So the name is empty. Contact number is empty. Page number, which we can initialize it to one. Okay. Now, let's just implement this first. Instead of this, let me remove this get API call function. Then here we need to send filter object dot subscribe. Again, round bracket result colon any equal to greater than. Whatever the response we get, we have to hold it in this array data. Okay, let's just save and test. Because on the page load also, we should get the data. Yeah, you can see only five records I'm getting because I'm sending the page size of five. Let's make it 10 and let's save. So you can see I'm getting the 10 record. Okay, let me just go back. come back here so if you see the payload we are sending the 10 records now so that's why we are getting the 10 records in a particular page okay now what we need first we need the uh, two things first is the first three fields are there so we need three search box and then one pagination and one page size filter okay so let me just copy paste the code i have so about this, I'm testing this. Let me show you how it is looking. Let's start from Fayu. Okay, so you can see the basic page size and pagination is there. So I'm I have not used that uh, pagination thing, but the concept you can use. So based click on next, I should increment this, and then I should make the API call. And if I change it to twenty, I should make the API call. So let's do that code. So for that, I will bind this. 
with ng model over here. This is an object dot page number, sorry, page size, because this is the page size. Then I need to print the value of current page over here. That will be page number. And on click of previous, we just need to increment and decrement the value. So click, let's do that increment decrement over here only. This is minus 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 one. Okay, so it won't allow. Okay, is equal to filter object minus one. Still, it is not working. Let's create the function on previous. And here we have to do the same thing. So this page number minus minus. So it will increment decrement by one. Okay, it is the string value. That's why it is named like this. Now it is not done. Now same thing will work here also. But let's call the function just for the better understanding. So on click of it, we are calling on previous function. Same as we just need to create one more function that will be next on next. Now this function we have to call. And here we will simply increment the value of page number. It will be plus plus. So let's see now if it is happening or not. If I click on next, you can see value is getting increment. On previous, it is getting reduced. Now, once we change the next or the previous, we need to make the API call. And on this change also, we need to make the API call. Okay. So let's check. Default, let's say what are the values we have. So five is there. Let's make an entry of 10 also. This is again in your hand only. So what are the choices we, you need to add? You can add that. Now, we need one event on the change of it. So since it is a drop down, so change will be event. Change. We just have one function. That is field candidate. So we can just call this function over here. Once the drop down value change, we have bind the ng model here. So we don't need to again uh, prepare the object. And same thing. Now we need to call this function once we hit on previous and the next button. So that will after this. Same thing on next also. Let's check now. So let me clear this. So by default, we have got 10 records. So now if I say, I just need the five record. Okay, let me check why it is not called. It is not saved. Okay, let's check now, five. Okay, so you can see we have now API call with the page size five. Okay, now in the page, uh, page one, if we have the size five, we have got this much record starting from Gora to Sachin. Now, if I click on next, that means page two, you can see next record I have got from Sai to Mrudu. Let's click on next, we have got next. Okay, until we have all the records go over, till then we can do this, okay? Let's go back to again, previous. Now the page number will be two. Again, this, so you can see we have got the first page record, okay? So these things are done. So uh, the page size limit and the pagination. Next is the extra filters we have. If we if we see the API, name, contact number, and emails are the fields which we can have ex as an extra field. So let's just open a row. Dot call three input. Let's add a class.
सर्च बाय नेम लाइक दिस वी कैन जस्ट क्रिएट थ्री कॉलम्स इट विल बी बाय मोबाइल एंड दिस विल बी बाय सिटी सिंस वी जस्ट हैव थ्री पैरामीटर्स इन द एपीआई ओके नेम कांटेक्ट नंबर एंड ईमेल ओके ईमेल इज देयर now we just need to bind this object because in object we have this property so we can just bind those that is name over here contact number over here and email over here so let's save and check now okay so now we need button also so let's just add a button on click of that button we will call the API. So button. Let's add some class. Search. And on click of this button, we just need to call our API call function. So click. Let's save and check now. So on the page load, we have got 10 records. Now let me clear it. And if I say, let's just check the whole data. I'm checking it here, 100. And page number one. Let's just try to search particular number, okay? So let's try to search this number, okay? This will be mobile number. And if I say search, you can see, in the payload, in the contact number, we have sent this. So it has written particular record matching that mobile number. If we say double nine, and let's try to search. So what it has said, it has written us all the mobile numbers where nine nine is there. Let's try with double eight. Same records are there. Okay, let's try to search with email. Let's try to search the records where we have uh, emails with a gmail so see these are all gmails let's try with why yahoo see all the records uh, all the records of the candidates where yahoo mail is there let's try with name now rahul okay so we have got two rahuls let's try with searching okay now one more let's search with gmail okay why it is not so let me search it is empty okay searching is there so now these are the users who has email id from the gmail now out of that let's say i need to filter users name starting with roe and username is and email id with email id is with gmail so if i click search you can see particular record we have got okay so this is how we do the server side filtering okay hope you have liked the video because this is very basic example. This you can replace with normal pagination. This again you can, this is the normal pagination drop down. Okay, value can be anything. Instead of this, you can go for the pagination. Again, same thing is there because wherever you are applying server side filtering, this is the basic logic. UI can be anything, library can be anything, but the basic thing is this. Okay, please do subscribe and like. Hope you have liked the video.